people to be like, oh, you come here to Taiwan for being a healthcare worker yeah. or like probably like a, the more Maybe working in a factory? Yeah, working in a factory, that is right. Yeah, that yeah. Is right. of course. I really respect all those all those people who work for the labor still very but yeah, not everyone is like that. Can you briefly introduce yourself to the audience? Okay. So hey, hi everyone, I'm Ivana. I'm um, currently in Chinese Indonesian studying in Taiwan for graduate for grad school and for undergrad undergrad too, yeah. How's your experience uh, in Taiwan been so far? Maybe you can talk about like good things or maybe bad things. Okay. The good things first, of course. I think Taiwan is a very safe country to live in. I love Taiwan. I can just walk around here at night alone. I don't have to feel unsafe. I feel like it is a very safe country and it is very practical too. Like the subway here is everything. You can just literally go everywhere with the MRT, with the bus. And it's very practical too, like you've got a lot of 7-Elevens and the people are nice, the food is good. I think, yeah, that is all for the pros probably. And the yeah. cons, I think, is you can't really um, stay in Taiwan if you can't really speak Chinese, I think. I think that's like one thing that I um, noticed when I first came here because a lot of like my Taiwanese friends they don't really speak a lot of English so I struggle a lot too when I first came here I have to like I'm like they are very kind too they were very kind to me they always try their best to translate everything to English even though it's very hard for them too but yeah that's the first thing that I noticed that you can't really survive if you can speak enough Chinese so you have to have you have to be able to speak a little bit of Chinese at least I think that's the cons and the second thing is I think for me I'm very blessed but according to my friends my friends experience um, as a Chinese Indonesian that yeah. studies in Taiwan too they had a hard time in college especially in college when their Taiwanese friends know if you're not a Taiwanese or if you're an international student they will probably don't want to be in the same group with you or don't really want to be friends with you yeah. but I'm very lucky all my Taiwanese friends they are the nicest people ever they always have my back even during the homework the group the group projects or everything and I always have like a very good co-workers too yeah. so yeah I'm, I'm very blessed actually yeah as an Indonesian you mentioned about like uh, maybe your friend or your people mm -hmm. maybe uh, a little struggle uh, with their life in Taiwan can you talk about that I mean for Indonesia living in Taiwan, I think there's not a lot of like struggles, but I think there's more like a stereotype, stereotype for Taiwanese towards um, Indonesians, especially um, certain East Asians people like Filipinos, like Vietnamese, like Indonesians, Thailands. Um, Taiwanese always have the stereotype towards um, us certain East people to be like, oh, you come here to Taiwan for being a healthcare worker yeah. or like probably like a, the more maybe working in a factory yeah working in a factory that is right yeah, that yeah. Is right. of course I really respect all those all those people who work for the labor they're very they're very hard working too of course they're all very hard working people they they deserve the pay but yeah not everyone is like that yeah that's all I gotta say it's definitely a stereotype yeah, it is a stereotype. I met that a lot actually. Like when people meet me and they heard me like speaking in Chinese or in English, they'll be like, oh my god, your Chinese and English are very good. It's not the same as the Indonesian people. person yeah. that work in my house. I was like, oops, uh. awkward. I was like, oh, yeah, because I'm here for the college. That is what makes us different, probably. Yeah. Do you think it's getting better? I mean, because you haven't been here for a couple of years, right? So, do you think maybe Taiwan is uh, moving to the right direction, in your opinion? I don't think so. <laughs> don't think I've been so. here for like five years. I still have a lot of people asking me about this topic a lot of times. Yeah, but I try to explain to them. You know, yeah, yeah, trying to be nice and polite, as polite as I can, as possible, of course. Be nice and be respectful to Taiwanese because I I noticed that a lot of people actually, a lot of my Taiwanese friends who ask me, all the Taiwanese people that I met, they all just really like very curious, like, oh, I just know that not 
every certain East Asians are here for college only, uh, for he, uh, for works only. Yeah. yeah. So I think probably might still take a lot of time to educate Taiwanese in general. I think. Yeah. What about your education? Do you think the, the education in Taiwan is good for maybe international student like you? So what do you think about that? A lot of people are going to shit on me right now. <laughs> but no, I don't think Taiwan has a great education system. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry to all Taiwanese, and I'm still here, so I'm not. I'm being a hypocrite to probably, but I actually did regret that um, I do my grad school here. I probably should have gone to like another country to do my grad school. But yeah, for me, I'm blessed that my parents are able to fund me to study abroad. Probably a lot of people will be, will be like, ah, oh, it's like going to Taiwan for college is very, very cheap. Yeah. It's very cheap. Yeah, but not to a lot of people, of course. I mean, like, I'm still very lucky that they're able to fund me, my parents. And yeah, but I don't think Taiwan has the best education system, actually, like for me. Um, and during undergrad, I don't think I learned a lot. Probably that happened to a lot of people too, but for me, I don't think I learn a lot of things in grad, um, in undergrad. But I do know how to socialize. I do know how to maintain a good relationship with your friends, how to survive in this environment. Because I came here, I struggled too with the language barrier. I used to kind of even understand what my professor is talking about in their lectures. It took me like two to three months to actually adapt to the whole ecosystem, to the whole environment of Chinese only environment. So yeah, I struggled a lot too. And I do think um, it is a pro to of course coming to a foreign country to just start living independently and start to learn how to survive by yourself without any friends, without your families. So I do think it is a big pro too for me and I'm always very lucky that, that I'm still able to do this. But I don't think the education system is very good here, I'm sorry. Yeah. I like your honest, you know, experience. Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. True, yeah. I yeah, I do recommend probably if you wanna come here to ex experience the whole culture. living the whole culture thing, of course you're very welcome to Taiwan. Taiwan is a very I think Taiwan is like the like a very good choice for you to exper to experience all the cultural things because Taiwan is a very safe country too and the food is good, the people mm -hmm. are good. And yeah, you get everything here. So I think it is good if you want to like experience the culture thing here for probably like stay here for like a year or two. I think it's good. But for study, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Uh, Hai, kalau misalnya ada orang Indo yang um, ketemu video ini, video J di YouTube, support ya uh, channel channelnya. Uh, jangan lupa buat subscribe and give a comment. Oh my God, what what ini wants how to? <笑>最后怎么变英文的你不是在讲我也其实我真的是太久没有讲英语文其实真的会卡住你知道吗对那个妈妈可能会难过说印尼文都忘记了拍谁公家打意啊不是公虾米弄一下公打意用台语用台语